we establish the Slack accounts, the drawn plan based on the total number of locations we have per the customer. Based on this, we divide that by the total number of weeks we have within the year. Uh, leaving some space in January and December mainly for physical inventories. So the plan is to fly every single location the customer has at least twice a year. This is how we came up for a total number of locations we're going to be flying weekly. From that point, what I do is I have an Excel file that contains this date we're going to be flying these locations. From that point, my team, they just look at the file and then from there, they go to the iPad and start selecting the, the different locations we have to fly from the day or range of location we have to fly. They set up the drone, they put it in front of the location, looking at the tag, and then they just hit the go button, right? So it will start flying. At this point, they let it fly. They just keep an eye in there, making sure no safety hazards are gonna be happening. We also put a few cones in the aisle, just blocking it from people passing by underneath it. We let it fly complete, and then we continue with the next customer. So we do about 20 bays a day. One bay contains eight locations, within the level and contains 14 levels. For the other pallet locations that we also have within the, the facility, once again, it varies mainly depending on the size of the customer, but we do from 150 to 200 a day. Once everything is completed, we come back to the office, plug the carts, the drones and everything, the batteries. At this point, we're gonna start reviewing the exceptions. Let's say we find a pallet in a location that doesn't belong to it. So those are the ones that we fix within the um, web dashboard as well as we fix it within our WMS so we can keep control of the inventory. 